Hey there everyone, what is going on? I'm here at the beach again and we're gonna learn our mill circle. Let me show you one first. It's a really fun trick on the bars, everyone. It's just kind of like we. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, so you wanna make sure you have a strong support hold on the bar first. You should be able to hold yourself up strong like this. And you should be able to do a cast also, just to make sure your shoulders are nice and strong. You also should have your pullover. I have a video on that too if you wanna check it out. Now you also wanna be able to hook your knee with your other leg straight. You wanna be able to swing like this as your leg goes down, as your chest goes forward. Watch my hands. They re-grab the bar at the top of your swing, okay? And then you wanna be able to pull yourself up like that. Okay, so as your chest is coming up, your arms uh, try and keep them straight. And right at the top, your hands are gonna go from here, eat. So knuckles are back, the knuckles are forward. And you wanna work on that, keeping your um, leg that's in the air and not hooked really straight, because then you're working up towards that mill circle. Now when you start the mill circle, you wanna make sure your leg, your top leg, is not turned in like this. You wanna try and square your hips. Uh, what I mean by square hips is you wanna be able to make a line straight across your hips and your shoulders, okay? Your thumb is gonna go over the bar like that. You're gonna keep your chest and your head up. Your eyeballs are straight, your head stays straight. You don't want it going like this, like a bobble head the whole time. Oh, that just made me a little dizzy. <laughs> okay, your back leg, the bottom one here, is nice and straight also. Keep that one with your top of your foot just pointing straight ahead. You wanna lift like this. You see how I'm lifting off, off my legs like that? You wanna try and have this part of your leg on the bar, okay, the one that's down. So, I lift this right here, your thigh, it's going to stay on the bar. And remember, legs turned out. You're nice and tall. Keep that part of your leg, your thigh on the bar. You're going to lift your top leg up a little bit. And the secret here is to not let that top leg drop right away. You want to hold it up. Okay, so you're going to hold it up. Your whole body is going to start to go forward while you're still lifting. You would think you want that top leg to drop, but trust me, don't let it drop. Then when your chest get and your head gets about here, you're gonna lift that leg up a little bit, and then you're gonna you're gonna think about gluing it to your other leg. Okay, so lift and glue it, or like a scissors, like closing really quick, or something just going like this. So, head straight, body straight, I'm lifted. I fall, I fall. I'm gonna start to lift that leg. You see, I fell, I fell. You gotta keep your body nice and straight. Then when I get to about there, my leg lifts a little, and then I, I close it down. Nice and tight, of course, with straight leg, because that is gonna make me whiz around the bar quicker. Now, if you go and you kinda crumple your body, kinda like here, then I don't make it. You gotta really stay nice and tall and straight. Now if this happens to you, where you go and you don't quite make it all the way, you're like, oh, I'm gonna make it, but not quite all the way, you need to turn your hands back like this. So you're here, you're here, you're like, oh, I'm right there, I'm right there. But you drop back down backwards. If you leave your hands this way with your knuckles down facing the ground that's really dangerous and then it's just bad news because then you're gonna flop to the ground so remember you don't make it really you gotta switch those hands back here at least if you get even one hand back that's gonna be safer than not any hands and when you go forward yes your hands are gonna stay here the whole time all right now on the way up you're just squeezing 
really, really, really tight. You just squish those legs together. You don't want to, you know, bend. You're literally, this part of your body is just nice and tall. Okay? Let, let, the, let gravity do the work for you. That's it. You just lift. You fall. Keeping the body straight. Don't let it bend like that. And the gravity will do the work. You're just going to spin around the bar. Now at the end, you want to hold yourself up. So you're coming up, 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 up. At the very end, try and lift yourself off the bar here. Chin up, okay? It looks more professional. Because if you land kind of like, then eh, it doesn't look as nice. So nice tight legs. We'll do, we'll do it one last time for you. And then it's good luck to you on your middle circles. Okay, so I lift my bottom leg. Really, really strong, straight arms too. Okay, I lift that front leg, start going forward, and then I grab it to the other leg. Or not grab it, I I join it to the other leg. They're having lunch. Okay. And there you go. Now let's go over some drills for this. Some good drills are just sitting here, lift up, down, up, down, up, down. Do them on the other leg too so you don't get lopsided. And then like I said before with the back leg straight, you can do like one, two, shift the hands forward. Now, what I forgot to say earlier, if you do those with the knuckles up and you come up and then you're like, oh no, I'm gonna fall forward. If you fall forward, it's the same kind of situation where you have to switch your hands. Look, I'm gonna fall. What am I going to do? Ah, I change my hands backwards so that I'm safe. We need to be safe. So just think of it this way. If you're going forward, the knuckles are down, right? If you're going backwards, the knuckles are going to face up. Now you can do lots of kicks, okay? Front and back to get those legs going. You can do sitting in a pike position, okay? Just lift up and down. You can do scooches like this are really good. Any kind of hollow body, rock, V-ups, okay, all kinds of strength. Oh, you can also do these too. Oh, pullovers are good. So you're just gonna get in a support, bring your thigh to the bar right above your knee, up, down, stomach in, maybe three sets of 10 of those. Okay, some casts, maybe two sets of five, three sets of five would be better. Great work, everyone. Great work. I wish you luck. It's time for our end of the workout trick. Yippee! Okay, everyone. I'm going to give my pike press handstand a whirl here. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I did it. I did it. I can't believe it. That was my second attempt. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, everyone, check out my other tutorials if you want. Have a great day. See you around.